if anybody had any reservations in regards to David Taylor being the new wrestling coach at Oklahoma State, the all-star staff that he's already putting together should probably put our head to rest. You are locked on Oklahoma State, your daily podcast on the Oklahoma State Cowboys, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Howdy, y'all, and hello, all. Welcome back to Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily stop for all things cowboy and cowgirl related. My name is Cody Stovall. I want to thank you kindly for stopping by to make this your first listen. We're available on all of your podcasting platforms, visually as well on YouTube. Find me personally on X at All Day O State. Today, we're partially brought to you by Game Time. Get in on the action today. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code Locked On College for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure that you get there today. Meanwhile, we get to have a conversation about this new wrestling staff. Now, you all know I've been a big proponent of Coleman Scott getting the job. Well, that is not uh, the indication that we're getting. Coleman Scott's not going to get uh, the head coaching job, of course, but it doesn't look like he's going to get an assistant job either. Now, although that's somewhat saddening, we still have to take into consideration that part of a hire like this for a David Taylor was going to be, obviously, staff, and he's going to want to bring in the people that he's going to want to bring in. Of course, his brother, brother-in-law makes a lot of sense, which is exactly why he brought in Jimmy Kennedy. Jimmy Kennedy now brings his pedigree from being a multi-time All-American at Illinois and also being a representative for United States of America in 2014 to Oklahoma State. So, of course, if your family, okay, that makes some sense as to maybe why Coleman Scott's not going to be, you know, the main assistant coach. But then the news comes down of Thomas Gilman, the same Thomas Gilman that basically started a fight with John Smith and half the wrestling team inside Galgra Iba Arena after uh, a win over Nick Piccinini. Thankfully, Nick Piccinini got the uh, retribution a little while later against Spencer Lee, but nonetheless, this is the same quirky Thomas Gilman that everybody had a hard time with, which is why he was a three-time All-American, three-time national champion, and he went on to have a four world championships under his belt So when you're talking about some of the the guys that that David Taylor could potentially bring in that were going to be extremely exciting, now you're starting to see some of these names. So when you see some of these names, it does make a little bit more sense as to why maybe Coleman Scott isn't going to be retained, and and you're seeing this. Now, the biggest thing here that I noticed from the interview or the press conference of David Taylor was kind of the formula that made Penn State so successful is – some of the guys in the room, including David Taylor. If you're going to be wrestling at Oklahoma State, you're going to be wrestling against the best, point blank, period. That's exactly what you're you're looking to accomplish. This staff does nothing but lead us to the understanding of maybe why Coleman Scott wasn't going to be the surefire guy. But if you're talking about young kids in the wrestling communities that are looking at some of the idols in the game. This is, this is what they're looking at. They're looking at David Taylor. They're looking at Thomas Gilman. And not only that, these are guys that are very crafty. There's an emphasis on scoring points, which has been our biggest uh, Achilles heel in the last, uh, you know, five, six, seven years has been our inability to score points, which is why there's a decent amount of time that we're undefeated. There's a decent amount of the time that we win the Big 12 title. But even in those those years, there's a big discrepancy between what we're able to accomplish and what everybody else at the top of the heap is. And the top of the heap has been Penn State. Right? We got to have the first ever locked on crossover. And that in and of itself with Zach, from Locked On Nittany Lines was so much fun, but it does nothing but validate how big of a deal this is. You're still seeing stories about what some people think about this hire. And you've seen, you know, Penn State wrestlers weigh in on this. And one of their biggest wrestlers has already come out and said that he's not a fan of it and he doesn't think David Taylor's being loyal and true to Penn State and this and that and the other. But Kale Sanderson did the same thing, right? Nobody was a big fan. I, 
I would suspect when he left Iowa State to go to Penn State didn't make a lot of sense. And even when it did, I think most people assumed that he was going to come back to Iowa State at some point in time. Nobody anticipated he was going to turn Penn State into what he did. This could be a very comparable situation. David Taylor, no doubt, is going to be able to get these guys to score points. And we have guys on the roster that um, are still going to be able to catapult Oklahoma State into the upper echelon of wrestling 24-7. And just like we talked about yesterday, there is a gap. There's a gap between Penn State and everybody else. And when you're talking about Coach Jimmy Kennedy and you're talking about Coach um, Thomas Gilman, these are guys that can show us points-wise how we can get the product that we're trying to achieve. And this is something that we've been missing at in Oklahoma State for a little while is the ability to score bonus points. The best, to some degree, where do you have? Right? Last year's class, it wasn't necessarily the biggest. We only signed four people. But you had Cody Merrill, who was pound for pound one of the top wrestlers country and then you have rim sakimato who is likely going to be one of the mainstays at the 133 pound weight division you could even look a little bit lower and this is going to be huge for somebody like a thomas gilman who can get down there and and teach these guys some, th- some things and then you have uh, jj mccomas coming in from stiller high school and then another big time get was colter burton colter burton was one of the top uh t- top guys being number what two or no, that was uh, Merrill. Merrill's ranked number two wrestler in the country by uh, inter- or Matt Scouts. And then you fast forward to the 2023 class, or I guess that would be rewind to the 2023 class. We added seven, including the pound for pound number one wrestler in the country and Christian Carroll. On top of that, we had the number one 82 pounder. And Braden Thompson, who is also number three pound for pound wrestler in the country. And then you have some Stillwater Cats mixed in there. Kale Hughes, his record speaks for itself. His his state titles in Oklahoma speak for themselves. You got Sam Smith. You got AJ Higg. And then you got Jersey Rob, another state champion from down the road in Bixby, Oklahoma. There's not going to be an issue of talent. And that's not even taken into consideration some of of the transfers that we've that we just recently been able to acquire. The lack of instability has, I think, been something that's helped us keep everybody from jumping in the portal. The fact that there's something to be fixed here at Oklahoma State, there's something to be accomplished, and everybody knows that it's it's achievable. Maybe not year one, year two, but by golly, by year three, you make a move like this because you think it's a possibility and you think you're, you're good enough to go ahead and capitalize pretty quickly. And I believe in that as well. You also should believe in game time. You should also believe that you need to take the stress out of buying tickets when there's so many other stressful things that come with going to events. And remember, this isn't just sports. There's comedy, there's event, there's theater in the area, there's music. And it's the authorized marketplace for the NBA. And it makes getting playoff tickets faster and easier. With killer last-minute deals, the all-in prices, my favorite, the views from the seat. And the game time guarantee takes the guesswork of you buying tickets for the NBA or anything else. The zone deals save you even more when you choose a section and let game time choose the seats for you. With the all-in pricing, you can use the toggling feature to see the total up front, so there's no surprise fees at checkout. With the lowest price guarantee, if you find something in the same row or a lower price, GameTime will credit you 10% of the difference back. So take the guesswork out of you buying tickets for the NBA and everything else with GameTime. Download the GameTime app today, create an account, use the code LOCKEDONCOLLEGE for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Make sure you create that account. Redeem that code. Locked on college. L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N-C-L-L-E-G-E for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price. Guarantee. All right. We were just talking about some of the the top guys that are going to be coming in from these last two classes. And this is, again, Uh, Number seven class in the country, number three class in the country. It sets you up very well if you're David Taylor. Because, again, 
not everybody that you may have wanted if you were going to be the coach of this next recruiting class. But to say that you don't have enough talent to do some crazy stuff would not be accurate. Therefore, I don't see him. And to continue to have this talent evolve and to get more talent, the sales pitch is very clear. Other than the fact that it's Oklahoma State University and the history speaks for itself, the expectation here are to do big things and compete for national titles. What is a better sales pitch than you get to wrestle who everyone in just April was considered the pound-for-pound pound greatest wrestler in the world, and David Taylor, yes, the upset to Brooks, you obviously put this whole thing kind of in motion, right? So maybe it was meant to be, but nonetheless, if you're going to want to get prepared Who's going to prepare you better than David Taylor? If you're 125 pounds, 133 pounds, 140 pounds, who is out there going to get you more prepared than Thomas Gilman? And that is the emphasis right here for David Taylor. That was the biggest thing that I was able to take away from the press conference when it came to the recruiting and the talent and all of the evaluation phases. It was going to be about on the map. That was the emphasis. We are going to wrestle these kids on the map all the time. So they on, honestly, constantly know what the top competition feels like. And that's not being cocky or arrogant. When you're number one in the, in, in the world and you've won world titles and you've won Olympic medals like both of them have, then you can bet your bottom dollar there's not very many people out there who can teach you more. So if you're coming to potentially be a wrestler at Oklahoma State, you now get some solace in the fact that you wrestle against some of the best in the world. And those those guys that are the best in the world just so happen to be your coaches. And that's part of the recipe for success at Penn State, obviously, is we're going to teach you how to score a bunch of points. But not only that, we're going to make you sport, score points on us. Therefore, if you can score on us, we clearly know that what you're we're teaching you works. You can grasp the information. You can make it applicable on the mat. And by the way, if you can compete with us, you're going to be able to compete for national titles on an individual basis, which obviously means it gives more team titles. Of course, you want individual national champions, but you look at what John Smith has been able to put forth. That's not been uh, an issue. If you're looking for you know conference titles, well. That's not been an issue. The issue has been Penn State. And it's funny, like, you, we, we sit here and we wonder, why does Penn State score so many more bonus points than everybody else? How does Penn State constantly set the bar for what you should do offensively on the mat? As they just shattered the, the points total record from this previous season, they're going to have the opportunity to do it again coming up. So not only do you get to sales pitch that if you come to Oklahoma State, you get to wrestle with some of the best people in the world. Guys, we just mentioned Christian Carroll, number one pound-for-pound pound wrestler in the United States of America that actually flipped from Penn to Oklahoma State. You need guys like that, but now you need, you need more of them. You can't just survive on the Braden Thompsons and the Christian Carrolls. Now you're we're also here in the Dayton Fix is going to be involved. So he's going to be helping out. And you know, we just mentioned you've got Nick Piccinini down the road. I'm sure I'm sure him and uh, Mr. Gilman can repair a relationship there. But you got an Iowa guy, you got a Penn State guy, you've got Dayton Fix, so you've got Oklahoma State guys. You know, he obviously mentioned Daniel Cormier quite a bit, Johnny Hendricks quite a bit. This is a dude that's not only dialed in to the sport of wrestling, but he understands the, the lay of the land and where Oklahoma State stacks up. Oklahoma State needs to be at the top of the mountain. The guys that we're bringing in to be the coaches are clearly the top of the mountain. If you can even halfway compete with David Taylor or Thomas Gilman or Dayton Fix or Jimmy Kennedy, then you're probably going to go pretty far when it comes to the, the entirety of the season. And I know, I, just like most of y'all, I can't wait to see bonus, bonus points. The man's nickname is Magic 
man, I can't see us as a team. I can't see us pull out some crazy stuff in the final 30 seconds, 45 seconds of matches. And to pull that off, you have to be technically sound. You have to be disciplined. You have to be able to check yourself at the door when you're doing something wrong. You have to be able to understand, you know, weight transition and body lean to a completely higher degree. The days of just completely manhandling you and getting four or five thousand minutes of riding time, that's just not it's not the way of the, the, the land at the moment. These guys know what works. What works at Penn State, clearly part of the secret sauce has been, by the way, you're going to wrestle some of the greatest com- competition in the world, not just college competition. So now we know Penn State, they've been wrestling against world champions and Olympic gold medalists on a daily basis. Not just, you know, for a little bit, not not getting pieces of advice, not just getting taught, but physically on the mat, getting rolled up on by people who were winning world titles and just won gold medals. And that is now what we're going to have at Oklahoma State. So on top of the top-notch wrestling that you already have, right, the state of Oklahoma by itself produces some of the greatest wrestlers in, in the country. Pennsylvania does the same. Ohio does the same. There's not a lot of places that are known for being a mecca when it comes to development or wrestling. Oklahoma is one of those places. And one of the biggest things that you can take away from him, David Taylor coming down from State College, is he's the Pennsylvania, Ohio version of a cowboy, right? He's got pigs and goats and chickens, and he wants to, to have a farm. What he already has can be replicated in Stillwater. He wants to be close to a community that's very, very heavily involved in the sport of wrestling. Well, the entire state of Oklahoma is all about that stuff. And then imagine the tie-ins you're going to have when your football coach is a wrestler who has an affinity for wrestlers, who looks for wrestlers out in the recruiting trail. I feel like it's it's uh, inevitable at some point in time these two gentlemen are going to be able to help each other in the recruiting game. I don't know which way. Right, whether it's a football side or the wrestling side, but nonetheless, they're going to be able to get creative and team up here. So this press conference did tell us some some things, right? Jimmy Kennedy, huge hire. Thomas Gilman, huge hire. Well, Jimmy Kennedy is also his brother-in-law. So the familiarity that he already has with him in the Penn State wrestling room, in the, the developmental company that he has for bringing up wrestlers in M2, He's very comfortable with Jimmy Kennedy. And clearly, he knows that if Thomas Gilman's going to get out on the mat and roll with people, it's going to make them significantly better. And let's face it, right? Other than Oklahoma State, traditionally, the other heavy hitter is Iowa. And then you've got the new heavy hitter for the last you know, 10, 12 years in Penn State. So you've got Oklahoma State coaches, Penn State coaches, and Iowa coaches all together on the same mat in the historically greatest wrestling facility or venue, I guess I should say, that's ever been put together. Now we have something to sell that's not just Oklahoma State, that's not just John Smith, that's not just the, the excellence that we expect or the facilities. Now it's, you're going to get your tail whooped by the best in the world, but we're not just going to whoop you. We're going to teach you along the way. Coaching is is amazing. But when you can physically show somebody how you're going to coach or why you're coaching X, Y, or Z, it's going to matter. You see it at Penn State. They know how to score more points than everybody else. It's all systematic. It's all strategic. None of it's accidental. None of it's happenstance. They drill little minute things against the best wrestlers in the world. It's like a cheat code. Well, and now we got a piece of the cheat code. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice to see Oklahoma State 
backwards should be in wrestling, just like it's going to be nice for you all to get tapped into Monopoly Go, the same game that grew, we grew up loving and playing with our families, you now get to do on the go. You can team up with friends for time tournaments. You can work together and build up each other's boards, meaning there's so much you can win together, and the more awesome prizes you get, get to unlock unique stickers that you can trade with friends and you can complete albums for big prizes cool new playing pieces you can use to travel the boards with hilarious emojis you can use to give your friends a hard time when you uh, smash their buildings or heist their vault it feels new and exciting every day with changing tournaments and challenges there's so much good that can come from you getting with monopoly go and there's always new timed events to help you win big, like multiple, massive multipliers for everything you need to win or rent freezies. There's always something fun to discover in Monopoly Go. So go start your adventure today. Download it for free on Google Play or the App Store. Get your game on with Monopoly Go right now. All right. Before we skedaddle on out of here, we get to talk about softball. And then guess what? There's not a lot to talk about. As the Cowgirls, you know, for all of the irritation or frustration that we all felt for drawing a three seed, well, I guess maybe uh, we made the committee look smarter than maybe we should have because we played like a nine seed. Getting beat by BYU 7-2. You know, there's a lot uh, negative wrapped in this. But we're going to focus on the positive here. And the positive is that's more rest, all right? We're probably easily going to still get top five seed. And it's a little bit of a wake-up time, right? We, this this didn't end the season. Regular season didn't end exactly how we wanted it to. Beating OU is great, but at the cost of what? I mean, we have a big hangover now. So, yeah, I mean, if if you end up finding a way to screw yourself, that's a different story. But this could be the hangover that wakes us up and gets us ready for a, a good postseason run. Hopefully that's what it is. Just like uh, we're all hoping that the Cowboys can sweep Texas Tech. Just winning the series doesn't really do us a lot. If we're looking at the regular season championships still yet, we got to sweep Texas Tech. We could use some help from some others down the line. Somebody wants to beat up on Texas, beat up on OU. We're always down for that. But nonetheless, we have to take care of our business. And our business is Texas Tech. A sweep is in order, but it's all right. Um, last I looked, we were up like 9 nothing. So looking good, but we need all three. All right, y'all. I reckon that's all we're going to have for this one right here. You know I love you. As always, God bless. Go, folks. Thank you. For tuning in to make this your first listen here in Locked On Oklahoma State. You could be anywhere. So happy you choose to be here. Like it. If you like the daggone thing, dislike it. If you don't, that's okay too. Most importantly, share, comment, subscribe. My podcast with people out there. Do what you do. Leave a review. Hit the stars. All right, y'all. I am out late. Tater's.